Sniper on the team of squad is actually running the bizarre bargain. This could be oh, quite cool. That'll be interesting. Whereas Cool Beans is going with the default. Kazamon. Yeah, both engines going mini sentry. Blue Dome Man's first out to mid. We've got a Tomislav on squared. That's pretty okay. cool. I don't know how that's going to go down, considering the uh, recent heavy changes. Oh, that Wrangler is up early and very good. Wow, oh my god, they're pretty much taking this. They're just working that left-hand side. They haven't lost a single player, and three have gone down on the side of squared. Well, they've not taken any blood at all. Really. No. Oh, there we go. Just as you say that, Loris dies. And now Kazamon's <laughs> down as well. We've got a demo man and a spy behind for squared, which Alex and Spaghetti are dealing with. Spice down. Uh, engineers, uh, the demo man's still in the middle. Silver's about to get Uber. He's but Alex pulled. sniffs him out. And they countered it. Yeah, I'm missing all the action. I'm a terrible cameraman. <laughs> it's okay. I am such a bad camera. I... Oh, big play by Alex there. Double kill Shit. Out. Totally missed everything. They ki <laughs> Who did she there kill? Did she kill the medic? She just killed the sniper. I'm pretty sure she killed the comp. I wasn't paying attention. It happened so bloody fast. Yeah, there was I a don't... really good 3k there. I'm gonna watch... I'm gonna watch Cool Beans going into this... Uh... Oh god, my HUD is messed up. Thanks on me, bomb. Cool Beans with a headshot. Oh, Alex gets... Trick, trinkle stabbed. My simple stumble. I'm no, watching. I'm watching Cool Beans on this. Oh, medic oh. down. Got it on camera. Ten out of ten. Best Goodness. cameraman of you. Oh, wow. but the reply onto the heavy of. Oh, the two kills us. Demo and heavy down. Great sniping there by Raffy Bear. Or Raphael. Hmm. Soldier's gonna go down. Oh, Alex with the big rocket misses. Go on, Alex. No. Oh, the follow up by Cool Beans. That's the heavy down. Oh, the antimatter and uh, Raffin's just forced Uber. Is it Raffin? Rapper down. Rapper down. I think this is going to be the end. Oh, no. Good defense there. Oh, oh I knew. Oh, I knew he's dead. This is really odd. Raffy Bear got a really good shot there, damn. Really? I didn't see that. I'm gonna watch Cool Beans. Actually, I'm gonna watch Raffy Bear. He's got three kill streak. He's running a bizarre bargain, which I, I've i literally used twice. And as a sniper main, I think that's quite embarrassing, but still. Oh, and he wins the sniper duel against Cool Beans. Fantastic you know, stuff. Four I'm, gonna, kill streak there. I'm gonna keep watching this guy. Make the camera work very easy for me. Oh, the pirate down as well. He could have taken the medic. Holy shit, this guy's actually mint. I don't just say that because of his name. Oh. You know, getting that nice backstab on the heavy there. Yeah, and that's uh, the pyro down, I believe, as well. The demo man's playing really defensively for. Um, just, I guess most of his team's down, so they can't really push out, but mm. it's an interesting maneuver. It's quite interesting that uh, Rappin then is. Uh, Rappin oh, the medic goes oh. down to Inu. Completely missed that. How on earth are you meant to cast these kind of camera work? I know, it's, what it's the? Happening. Everything's so happening. All right, Lux, we're going to watch Lux, Lux because she's got Uber. And Silver, the medic for Square, just went down. I think they're waiting for respawns. They should be pushing. So Jesus Christ, that pyro. Spurgin out. And that's a kill onto the engineer, which means that there'll be no sentry. Well, there'll be an easy sentry kill on us. I don't know why. I think I'm a god should be pushing here. They've taken down Squared's Medic, they have 100% Uber advantage and they know this. And yet they're still all, all sitting around the point. I think they... Oh, they are pushing in now, finally. They're moving on the left-hand side with Demo Man. Just Demo Man, though. But Frags are going down on the right-hand side, so that doesn't really matter. A mini Sentry down, then a Scout down. Leary's on it. There you go. Leary. Oh. Here comes a Pyro defense, or by not. Black Phoenix, but it didn't work out. No, it did not. But that's one nil. Oh my god, fantastic stuff. Who are we gonna watch on middle? Well, I don't have anything set up, so I'm gonna. I was gonna say, uh, Emmer God's demo man, uh, Leary was is actually really fast. To the he's hitting. Mid. Yeah, he's hitting decent rollouts. He's gotten really good rollout there compared. To, like he was first on the rollout 
uh, compared to the Red Demon Man, who seems to be a bit slower. But yeah, I don't think uh, I'm gonna watch the Red Demon Man next time. But I don't think that um, the Admiral, the Anti, sorry, uh, has like a, a very good rollout. But we'll see. Oh, that's yeah. a weak medic on the side of Squared. I think he's going down. Yeah, definitely. Alex gets the pick on the medic. Nice teamwork there, but the frags are going heavily in favor of... Oh my Squares. lord. That fist kill by Grandmaster, I didn't see it, but mad props. I've got a is down, team. but Lux is still up, so yeah, that could be that, very important. You know, Ermagal could take this point still, even if it looks a little bleak right now. Yeah, they did well to regroup there and repush. That's Spaghetti probably. with a good job on the spy kill. Ah, uh, it's a bit of an over extension by Anti. Because the like, but... Grandmaster's sentries have been really great at, at really? Um, just harassing. So I said it was always oh, a good sentry there. Um, I hope I'm not being stupid, but has no one capped middle? No, there's only um, there's a scout and a sniper on it. I think the scout was down. Okay, my think... HUD was broken anyway. Yeah, they're kind of leaving. Um, I think they left it to the scout, but he was dead. So. Lux is Ubered here, but it should secure them the- Oh, no, I say that uh -oh. just as the heavy goes down. Oh, uh, rap and then- Face stabs Lux! <laughs> Quality stuff! And... Parnell, you're kind of between a rock and a hard place. Oh, Spaghetti could go out drop down. Oh, some decent work there by Buzzkill. Oh, this could be a push oh, out. Oh, that pick. <laughs> I always miss. I game. always miss Inu getting these yeah. spy picks. Inu's doing a lot of work for his team right now. It's mm. impressive. Looks like um, Square's gonna make making a retake of the midpoint here. Oh, Rapan then coming oh. up behind the combo could get the medic again. Goes for the heavy. Takes the heavy out. Decent stuff. Um, oh, the medic goes down to Raffy mm. Bear. Oh, where's yeah. Raffy Bear? I'm getting on this shit. That's oh, a good question. my lord. Getting bombed here. Escapes with 100 health, easy. There's quite a few players down for Squared at the moment. It'll be hard for them to try and defend this yard for sure. Unless they all eat that spam, which I think they are. I'm still keeping an eye on, on Raffi Bay. He seems to be making plays. He's getting into a sniper duel with Inu and wins confidently. Uh, goodness. The, uh, but Silver goes down again. Do you see, I didn't even see you too. This is very back and forth right now. It's yeah. Very, very close. Yeah, Eiffel just pointed out there's a back burner, a Thomas Love, and a Bizarre Bug, and all coming out on the side of Squared. This is brilliant stuff. I like this a lot. I also like Buzzkill's uh, discipline reaction. Oh, goodness. I'm going to watch Indy this time because I seem to miss all of his plays. Throwing the token right dagger, now? that's quite cool. He's uh, he's just sniping a bit, actually. He's just kind of trying to make his way in there, avoiding Almost the scam. Got there by that yeah. Double <laughs> yeah. There's a sniper duel going on on the point. Cool Beans has the buff, so I doubt he'll, he'll lose, and Rafi Bear backs off, which I think is a smart Ooh. move. And you're taking an Admiral Amity matter with the uh, Ambassador there, and Armageddon has the point. That's a demo pick. That's, they can push off that. Especially now that we have a Sniper of Cool Beans in with a bit of freedom on the left-hand side. They've Ubered in the left-hand side. That Uber probably won't last. Oh, no, wait. I'll hold my mm -hmm. tongue. The Demo Man going out for the so Sniper heavy. immediately. Oh, this was... That was a really good push. Pretty I was going to say that yeah. they, they seemed to Uber a little earlier. They could have got to the mid there and Ubered, but they pulled it off. They really did. It's mm. good. I think Lux was slightly tagged. Who am I watching now? I'm watching... Oh, right! Okay. Anti seems to be staring at a wall. <laughs> okay. He will be rolling out strat. eventually. Or maybe not. Is he just walking? Yeah, I think he's just walking. Oh. So... Well, hey, there's a... Once he gets his rollout stuff, he's not playing bad, I don't think. No, no, no. Man has been doing really good DM wise. He's yeah, really middle solid of the player. table. He's doing he well. To, he knows how to play um, very defensively. It works. Oh, from sticky trap this. already on the right hand side. Oh, the meta goes down. What well by Leary? Jesus. Yeah, Leary's uh, playstyle seems to be much more offensive. 
So it really, you're seeing two diverse play styles that work for both players, really. Sort of, but I mean, a lot of that was to do with the fact that Anti was walking a bit to mid there, and yeah. looking at a wall. Oh, we've got the kunai coming out for Rapidan. Rapidan, Jesus. Um, that's awesome. I love watching kunai players because I cannot play kunai. It's like the only that and medic are the only two things I can't do. So watching someone is confident enough to run that watch is awesome. Ooh, he dodges out the flames. It would be so impressive for him to get anything here. Oh my god, he's, I think he's going to do it as well. He's coming up behind behind the combo. Oh no, the pyro's got him. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Denial. Down and valiantly defending Grandmaster. Oh, Grandmaster down. And he with the spam coming out. That's a nice heavy and soldier work. Not enough. The double oh, dog gets two kills, but isn't so enough close. to stop the cap. Yeah. Oh nice. my lord. Memory, I'm gonna watch Anti again. Going three zero. Good. Anti at the start of the rounds is just standing there. Yeah, I don't. Oh, he's know, changing his going. loadout. Oh, he's he's gone dead. Opal Caver. Brilliant. I want to see uh, this in you straight away. I want to see Lux get absolutely annihilated. I really like Buzzkill on Squared's team uh, with the disciplinary action getting everyone to middle faster. That's very smart. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's definitely a sign of a good soldier is when they yeah. kind of think outside the box. Antimat like is running the, the primary thing that gives you more health. I, I don't know what yeah. that is. Oh, I don't think he will be. No, he'll be going down before he can use his Opal Pain. <laughs> There's quite a few frags on both sides. God likes waffles, I believe, is running a low FOV. Hmm. <laughs> Raffi Bear. Uh, Raffi Bear gets taken down by Cool Beans. That sniper duel was over in a second. <laughs> CG just said in chat, why has he gone K that he can't jump? Which <laughs> is a point. It's, uh, oh. I don't like know it. what on earth Silver was doing there. He just ran it onto second point by himself, the medic there. This game doesn't, a bit it confused. definitely has like a, a pub feel to it, times. Well, we can see a lot of difference between the two teams. Like, uh, uh, yeah. We're on the Dome Man kind of skill right now. That Dome Man is really good at jumping. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, literally has got the rollouts down for sure. Yeah. Got a 4-0. How much is it till they win? Really, than they? Uh, it's a 5-0, I think. Oh. Okay. He's gone back to the loose cannon. <sighs> he's, he's, I think he still has a cable. I can't check for some reason. It's not working. Uh, unfortunately. Leary's already at mid right now. Leary's already at and, mid. And he's stickied up left side. And he's just got to choke to the... Yep, cool. Um, I was wanting Scorch Shot, that's an interesting choice. Scorch Shot, I like that. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's a lot of frags coming in. Oh my god, really getting into their stride as it seems. They're taking everything at the moment. That heavy's gonna pick up a kill onto the Le Leary, the Oh line. my goodness, that's almost a full team light for Squared. Oh, Raffi, Raffi Bear's up on what? Raffi Bear could get. He's already oh, got yeah. the heavy. Oh, uh, and he gets taken down by you. Wow. Yeah, that's a white for good. two players. That was very, very confident and very smoothly done by Oh my God. Big plays. Oh. Um, oh, and they changed the map. Bef Looks like it's all over now. I'm gonna message Lux and make her feel terrible about this because if you tell Lux she's done something wrong and it's her fault, then she'll get very upset. So I'm gonna take advantage of that now. <laughs> I'm getting an apology in caps. Oh my god. <laughs> I said thanks for changing map before STV was done, and she's like, sorry, I didn't realize. <laughs> oh my god, wins 5 to 0 oh on Granary. That was that, that was just a difference in demo mount, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. um, I did a lot of work there. Um, yeah. It's one of so bad water. It's one of so, when you kind of watch, you know, um, 5 CP and 6 is gear mats can be quite a tug of war. In that case, it was purely because Ermagod seemed to know how to play it very well when it came to rollouts and, you know... Re you cut out a bit there, Goose.
um, squared a chance to even get offensive at times. And when they did, they punished them very hard before they could mm-hmm. even really get it up. Badwater will be interesting, though, because everyone knows how to play Badwater. Really. Yeah, well, here's the thing. Badwater is a very popular uh, pub map, especially for Highlander players, and also a very nice Highlander map. Granary, uh, the I don't know much about the square team, but I believe they're all new to competitive. Well, we just saw that two of them had to... Um, had to make ETF 12 profile, so they aren't very ingrained with the competitive side. It's quite um, obvious to see. But um, my point is that Granary is originally a, is a 6v6 map, really. So the team of Oh My God having people like Lux and Loris and Alex and I believe Cool Beans as well, all um, being 6, 6v6 players, they had a what I'd say is a distinct advantage just to know what to do in certain situations and Oh, generally yeah, routes to take and stuff like that there's a lot of similarities especially on 6v6 maps when it comes to like 5 cp for example there's a lot of similarities to 6v6 and highlander in those cases so usually with maps geared towards 6v6 um teams that have had 6v6 experience will always have a big advantage and it goes at any div mm. Just getting the teams in here. And we can watch some glorious DM. Did we ever decide on who had the best loadout? I don't think we did. Uh... I was going to say... Um... Oh my god, look at Spaghetti. Spaghetti wins. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god, but I'm... Those googly eyes. I'm yeah. loving Don with the, with the bear hat as well, though. God, they will change loadouts. Um, no, I think Spaghetti must win. Oh my lord. Quality stuff here. Oh, but look at Kazamon. We've got Abraham Lincoln <laughs> on Kazamon. This is brilliant. Oh, that's genius. <laughs> that's genius. I like that a lot. Oh, uh, that's a growth. I have to get that miss. Cute so good. Cute by Inu. Um, Leary looks good. Top hat. Pipe and beard Quite and sophisticated. Scarf. Oh yeah, Merc's muffler. Oh, anti master Going with the classic Fubber's Manco hat and Professor Specs. Oh, and the portal, portal pin. pin. Brilliant. Goodness. I do like Black Phoenix. Um... Oh, Rap and Den looks good. The blue spy. He's got the... Um, can't even think the uh, Scarlet yeah, Pimpernel. I don't fucking even know what it's called. <laughs> oh yeah, I get that. It's the popping. Cutthroat Concierge, the Grey Bands, and I'm just gonna call it the Mozart hat. I don't know that one. <laughs> I like spaghetti. I gotta give it to spaghetti right there. Yeah, no. Nah, Those but... eyes are doing it for me completely. The Google eyes have got to be one of the best miss for the Pyra. Yeah. Well, there are two different kinds of googly eyes, aren't they? Yeah. There's, um... there's, the, there's the other one that's like ingrained in the goggles. Oh yeah, and then it's like like those, those like craft art right. things you got in like year three. The goo eyes, and then those are those springy Sight eyes you got there. The springy eyes, I really like those. They're not a Halloween misc, are they? I uh... don't know. I think they are... Um... No, I don't think they are. I don't I think, they I must think it's be. full moon right now. They have no, the no, no. on. Yeah. They're great though. I like that a lot. Right, so we're going to be looking out for... Who are we going to be looking out for? I think Rafi Bear and Inu could go big. Oh, yeah. What I would like to see on this bad water, and it's something that I noticed, because these are probably people who play lobbies and stuff, and you know, they really liked it and they're getting into it, but one thing I notice a lot when I play lobbies is um, Tunnel. Tunnel's a big thing because, you know, if you walk a demo man or a soldier through it, they can either spam or jump up and actually destroy it very easily, uh, Sentry. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's interesting to see if um, the defending team, in this case... Uh, Oh my god, we'll actually defend tunnel with a sniper or with a scout or both even and watch that tunnel because if the tunnel isn't defended it can really compromise the defense. Sometimes an engineer can hide behind the cart and sneak uh, the cart all the way to the point without a team noticing some in like times when people don't notice. I'm but just we'll looking see. at oh we've gone live. Just uh, yeah. just quickly in setup time, we I was looking at the logs for that last game which I'll put in stream chat. We'll put it in Mumble as well, actually. Um, 
it was very uh it was quite interesting you got uh, you got leary it atop the damage charts you've got leary and uh alex the demo and soldier from oh my god we've got suicides coming out on the team of oh my god um yeah the top two damages went to leary and alex but then the four after them were all squared players which is quite promising for Squared because, I mean, maybe the damage wasn't in the right place, but it means that they can at least keep up on DM. So on a map that they feel more comfortable on, they might shine quite a bit more. Definitely. It's interesting though, to see that um, the Soldier and the Scout and the Dumb Man were up there, but weirdly enough, the Scout did a lot of damage. Compared yeah, to God likes Waffles. Man. Yeah, yeah def he did a really good job. More than, yeah, more than the damage. Geez. Um, yeah, I like how the Sniper's there within 100 or so damage of each other. I'm gonna be watching. Still got the back banner. I'm gonna watch Raffi Bear here. Still got the back banner on Black Phoenix. Very, very. Oh, oh. Cool Beans takes him. We're watching Cool Beans now. It's all so about Cool Beans. He gets the medic down. He gets oh. the medic down with Uber. Oh, nice. The blue soldier. Um. Buzzkill right oh, now. Direct he hit. Is using the direct hit, and that's obviously a traditional thing to use. My bane, the bane of my existence. I can tell you. Well, I Alex just got in you killed, so well done, Alex. Uh, he was sitting above the above the tunnel, and Alex just kind of walked into where he was. He was no, nah, it, it was just that really Inu was so well hit. Yeah. This is a good push by Squared. Yeah. They've made it all the way through the tunnel without any resistance, and the sentry's gone down on the side of. Uh, oh, oh my God! So it's only a level one. Gun. Nice. They're pushing out. The heavy's doing the traditional drop down. Yeah, weak really good tunnel. Job. That's a Dom's, good defense, but oh, and up they've Ubered. Of course, no Uber on the side of Squared. Silver goes down again. Um, no Uber on the side of really Squared due to the drop from Cool Beans. Oh. That was a very, Can very nice this? Shot. Oh my god, oh, he wasn't going to make it out. Oh, right, Raffi Bear looking down the tunnel, but can't get anything. Combo's at tunnel. Sentry's down again. Poor Cool Beans takes out the medic again! I'm it's watching deep. Cool Beans. Cool Beans and Inu, man. They're doing it at the moment. It's another pick for Cool... Uh, really was that dead ringer? Them. No, that's a dead ringer. I think Cool Beans might have a spy behind him. I feel really bad right now for um, Kazamon. Every time he gets it up, it just goes right down again. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, I've got the zoomed-in camera. Oh, don't you love that? It's I'm like actually going to... Yeah, I'm like a helicopter. helicopter. It's like helicopter vision. <laughs> Hang on, I'm just going to get that. Hang on. I'm going to turn on my helicopter sound effect, and then... It's just, if I remember you a YouTube helicopter sound effect, it's bound to be there. <laughs> I can guarantee you. I have lost Goose. I'm flying somewhere above Badwater B point. I think I found the A point. Fuck me. <laughs> I'm gonna try and fly through the tunnel. <laughs> Wait. The cart's Wait. almost made it to the first point. Yeah, no, the fucking. Oh god, um, Liam was pushing that <laughs> so well with out. Thomas Love, and he got wiped out by Dom, and it was unfortunate, <laughs> but beautiful. Oh my god, that helicopter was happening. <laughs> god, I don't even know if, um, Squared is gonna make it to the first point. Right now. I'm liking it's this combo by, oh my god, first of all, Cool Beans is doing a lot of work, and so is Inu, but if we look at Lux and Dom, they're sitting on the six kill streak here. Very solid. Oh my god, Spaghetti using the Good spinny play. bind. If for anyone that doesn't know what the spinny bind is, you just turn your yaw up to ridiculous amounts and then put plus left on. Kazamon's doing a good job defending his sentry this time, not letting it go again. And he's going to get a pick on the demo man here in the tunnel, surely. Yeah, there you go. Let's have a look at what uh, Raffi Bear's doing. Trying to take down the sentry with the assistance of his spy, but he doesn't get it. He's in a great position, enough, but guys. We didn't fun. notice it actually. But Admiral Antimatter is now playing Engineer, while as Ninja Grandmaster is now playing Dominant. Oh, that. I did not see that. I d it just occurred to me. I was that's like, pretty oh. cool. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It seems to be working out for them all right. Oh, looks like we've got a tactical pause here. Uh, I will find out what this pause is for. For even gone for three minutes. Well, we're gonna we're gonna see it obviously in uh, in about ninety seconds after the pause, but. Yeah. According to inside information, they lost someone. So squared it down a man. Um, 
Obviously, the timer is still going for us, but it wouldn't be. Um, it's pretty. It's not the medic one missing. I have a feeling that um because of the time this pause happened, I think Armagod took are going to take this defense, and the pause is going to start next round. Because if we look at the moment, Lux has got 100%, Silver's just spawned, basically, and is already weak. We've got a demo man down, a spy down, and oh my god, they're looking like they're holding this very strong. Definitely. It, it's quite interesting. I honestly think this is it's the outcome of this game, game when, we out, when we're on pause, is that I don't think that Square will make it to the first point even, and if they do, then the game's going to end very suddenly. Yeah. After that, and it's going to be a case of just making it to the first point for uh, Ermagod, and this will probably be a very quick game. Yeah, I don't think I don't with the way that they've defended and the way that they seem to be DMing. I don't think it's going to be a difficult push for Ermagod. I think they're just going to exchange Ubers and then off the back of that probably get more picks. Um, so it won't be too difficult. Ermagod are very forward held here. We've got Leary yeah. and Lux at the end of the tunnel, about to take down the sentry, and probably the medic here. I think the medic, yeah, medic's one sticky from death. Uh, the mini sentry is, oh look, the sticky's already in the air. Oh. If we, if we stand from Leary's POV, the sticky's going this way, so it might actually miss, but I highly doubt it, because sticky, the sticky will blow up about here, and then sticky's are OP as fuck. That it is one on dead where, medic. Uh, silver goes. If silver goes forward to the left, he's dead. If he goes backwards, he might actually make that. However, if he goes back though, go yeah, that will screw him over. That would just yeah. mean that he'll get There's sticky a good chance or he won't that. And also, he's looking away from the sticky. He doesn't know it's been shot. If he takes a step forward, he has to come away from the rock a bit. Ah, uh, yeah, he's dead. He's so dead. Let's line up. But yeah, this is a yeah, really solid dead. defense, and they're not giving Blue Team a single chance to get forward at all. And they really, if Blue wants to win this, they got to really get in the next two minutes and 50 seconds. They've got to really pull together and, you know, build Uber and just try and take out that sentry, take out the teleporter and the dispenser. Mm -hmm. I hope that there's no real backup that they can rely on. Well, they, oh, it's going to have to be a scrap. I have to. Uh, I mean, these are new teams, so they're not going to be able to formulate themselves into a That's very true. Um, articulate. Positions. Yeah, yeah, for a for a very strategized attack. So, I reckon their best chance right now is to just send. You know, get their spawners and then just slam everyone for the cart. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I think they piled in the cart and really got it in. That that gives them the chance. And hopefully, Armagod will more than likely be pressured out uh, uh, from that cart. Yep. Uh, he it's a very strange uh, It's a very strange point, bad order. First point. Yeah, man. Because um... really, besides opening the, um, the, the doors for the big house... There's not really much that first point does for you at all. Like when it comes to disadvantaging the defense, they still are allowed to come out. Yeah, because um, then they've got the roof, shutter. haven't they? Yeah. So it really doesn't disadvantage them at all. They could probably still hold that point on watch over that car. However, it wouldn't be smart. I think but, that if uh, if squares can scrape the first point off this, I think that oh my god, is smart enough to set up on top of um, top of the roof. And then I don't think that Squared will get that second point. Sure, they'll like it out. No, I don't even think they're going to hit the first point, honestly, at this rate. They're close, though. They are. I'll give them that, though. I feel bad for Squared to think. I think they've been all. I think they gave a decent showing on Granary. I mean, 5 0, I don't Definitely. think really shows. Um, what the, shame, what the match was about. on paper, it's saying that they were, you know, like on paper, you could look at it and say, well, 5 0, they got rolled, but they really did give a really good defense and they did give it their best. Mm. And a lot of time they did repel it on last and almost take it, but they, it just didn't happen for them, unfortunately, uh, for lots of variable reasons and factors. But honestly, what matters in the Highlander Open is not winning, it's just about getting in there and having fun. It's like the little league, isn't it? <laughs> Well, this is just their entry level Highlander. This is what they're using to. Highlander opens a very good initiative yeah. from ETF2R to try and get people into um, into competitive TF2. And I think that this will, you know, yeah. this will be I'm different really happy for people. Because, you know, I don't know, like, Highlander doesn't feel as big or open or as interesting community wise 
compared to sixes where there's just lots of people playing and kind of want that for hl to an extent um yeah so hopefully more people will get into it i think one of the biggest stigmas for hl is that it's very hard to get nine people together who can play a specific class most people have a specific class in mind um you know like with me and engineer i couldn't play any anything else in higher divs in highlander mm. so it's quite tricky but what with 66 you can just get six people together uh, and another six people together and you can just have a game very fast i think that's the allure but hopefully there'll be more people playing in highlander after this i hope so too um I love Team Fortress too. Sp- and, oh Jesus! And any pause has been on for ages. I know this has been like the longest fucking pause. I know it's like stop for time. But you're saying? Um, yeah, I love TF2. So I think this is a great idea to get people into Highlander. Oh yeah. Um, Honestly, if I had, the, if I had the time, I would definitely. Unfortunately, I don't right now. But if I had, I would probably be playing um, it, you know, HL and Sixes because both games are really fun when you get into them. Yeah. I think when uh, when I take my break from, I'm I'm gonna be well stepping away from my job in about ten days or so. Oh, that's good. Um, so I can then play some more TF2, which would be nice. Uh, I don't. Fun. I mean, to be honest, if I didn't have the job that I currently have, I probably would have tried to be a buddy for this um, a God team because it does have quite a few of my friends in it, and I love playing with new players. Oh, yeah. I love trying to influence anyone that wants to play this game as positively as possible. Also comes to my conclusion off note. Um, we, you know how me, you, Omni, and what we're talking about forming a super team, basically with us on it, and then get some people we know to play Highlander. Yeah. Because my team HRA is folding, I'm thinking if I can get that together, that'd be great. Um, we just need, we kind of, if anything, we just need a medic and a demo man. Um, mm-hmm. And all that kind of stuff, and the rest should fall into place. So hopefully, we could, that could potentially become a possibility, which is exciting. On a Highlander note, that would be fun. But, Man, I'd I'd love to play in a team with um, um right. I think the, I'm pretty sure Squared have like. Told oh my god that they want to surrender and give up, really? which is very sad. Oh, that's kind of cute though. Mm. Heavy face. It's a fortune though. But yeah, no, if that's the case though. Oh my god, did really good plays there. It was unfortunate for Square, but credit where credit's due. Yeah. Ah, this is a shame. Valiant. Okay. I hope they got something out of this game. I know I would have. Like yeah. when I was very new to the game, I loved organized games. I mean, I was only a six v six player back at that point, but um, yeah. but I loved. Like I played so much pub, and then I started playing sixes, and just having a proper competitive environment was so much nicer than uh, yeah. just pubbing constantly. I remember when I got into Highlander, um, it was really through, obviously, Omni and Duwada and we formed a team. It was way, when we were playing, it was way more fun, um, kind of, than pubs at the time. It was much, it was just so fun. But, um, and really, I only kind of really stopped, I stopped pubbing altogether at one stage because of it. And it's just, when you get into competitive games, it's, you can't go back to an extent, you couldn't just only pub, it's something that's... Really fun, really rewarding at the end of the day. Yeah. And occasionally you get a really nice challenging pub like uh yeah. Omni was on the other night, but Unfortunately though, it can be quite rare, especially since the Val server uh update. Rest in peace, Worms and Plastic Minnows server. That was a great one. Oh yeah. Worms and Plastic Minnows are the greatest server of all time. And then Valve <laughs> fucked it up because Valve always fuck everything up that any competitive Jesus. Loris so, has got man. fine tags. Can you see? Can you see what I'm saying? Go to Loris, uh, the Armor oh God Scout, and look at the tags. Are they flying? They look like they're in a wind tunnel to you. Yeah, they're, they're like brushing against his cheek and smacking against his chin, effectively. <laughs> I was gonna make a crude joke there. I'm glad that I didn't. <laughs> Wheel. But yeah, like some of the players for. For Square have been re- like in the on Granary we saw some amazing plays by Raffi Bear. 
Um, while he was slow to middle, I think Antimatter did all right as demo. Um, yeah. Well, Animo did a good time. job as demo. In fact, he was. Um, what I noticed, what he was doing, which was quite clever, was he was he was using the uh, loose cam, and whenever they Ubered, he was actually firing it at them, especially at the heavy, so that they would just lose ground every time. So yeah. he was actually quite smart, and he was using his stickies very defensively on the cat. So he definitely knew what he was doing. It was just a shame about those rollouts, because I think if he did do the rollouts um, on Granary, he would have been way faster, and he would have probably caught up mm. to the enemy dome man, and he could have got some great picks and stuff. Yeah. But... I have to shout out to Godlike's Waffles as well as the scout that did more damage than Antimatter. He, I think he got top 5 damage or something. He had, he had a 2 or 3 KD and he was just putting in work. It was I think he had a 2 KD, a KDA, and he was just putting in work. I think that, you know, I like tournaments like this. Um, I like watching stuff like this, uh, especially with all these new, like, was it thousands of players that are coming into the. Coming into the Highlander Open, thousands of new players. Oh yeah, the best thing about new players as well, and you notice it in pubs to an extent, is that their movement is very random in pubs. But when you see them play in Highlander, they kind of come up with their own ideas. And when you like, obviously, when you're someone who's established in Highlander, you look at like a century spot that's silly, or you look at you know a team that's playing silly, and you think it's silly, and it works for them. And you think, well, why is that working for them? And it's just because. It, they make it interesting because they haven't played the game before. They don't know anything about the new maters, but they kind of create their own, and it works for them. And the other mm -hmm. team adapts to it, and it's quite interesting to see. And that's what makes the game fresh to an extent, rather than seeing the same bad water defense offense over and over. Yeah. Apparently, the game will continue. I'm glad for that. Um. Yeah, me too. I just wish you would have the best you would. Oh, see, I love this tournament. Oh my god, have found a Merc for Square. Oh, that's sweet. Because Squared couldn't find one, and so I think that's fantastic. That's nice. Kudos to Oh my god there. I'm just Definitely. watching Silver. I'm waiting for this sticky, man. This is going to be awesome. Teams would probably be screaming default win, default win, but that's really nice of them to do. Yeah. But you know, if if this kind of compassion is shown at this level, hopefully it can get carried forward. And then as these players progress, that's why I like these kind of tournaments because you know, even if mm. even if you have ten thousand people starting a new game, if only you know, if like a hundred of them then carry on, that's only one percent of the players. If yeah, considering only nine people for a team, that's like what nine, ten more teams added to yeah. you know Europe and USA. That's great, really. Yeah. And honestly, I think ETF two needs to do it on a European perspective because. If you look at, say, UGC versus, you know, ETF2, there's a lot of love for Highlander in the United States compared to, you know, and Canada compared to, um, you know, Europe at times. Europe is very much a sexist continent, and for good reasons, but if both games could, you know, grow out here, it'd be great nice. That's exactly what's happening. Something is still happening here. Uh, I think they've given up. Uh, I'd, so I'd have, I'm so confused. It's been such a long pause. I know. It's just it's like I'm really watching uh, High Div Highland with the pauses. I remember um, when I was in Silver, the longest pause I ever had. If I remember correctly, they, not, they denied like any Merc we tried to get. Um, for, the, for their own reasons, effectively. I'm not going to shit talk them, there's no point. It's ages ago. But um, I remember every, fuck, every bloody time, we actually had to pause 15 minutes, right? And we had to find them. I think we had to get... Uh, a sub who never played Spy before on, on Spy, and then they paused after 15 minutes because because they needed uh, because I think their pyro dropped out as connection, they had to get one of their subs to play, and then we, we continued on, then we had to pause again, and it was like I, we paused, they paused, we paused and each pause went for like 15 minutes I remember the game started at about 7 GMT and it ended at about 9, and it was just I'm pausing. Soon. Yeah, it was it, like it when it was a really close game to be fair. They won barely, and it was heartbreaking. But um, during the golden cap, but it was like the fact that it was a competitive, like really close game, plus the fact that there was all this drama 
and pauses and all this crap going on. It was really long, so hopefully this, that isn't happening here. Okay, I'm gonna get helicopter view on this medic kill that's about to happen. I wanna go to the sniper and get the same. I'm gonna turn my helicopter sound effects on preemptively. <laughs> I love the helicopter view so much. Oh, medic oh. down! I missed it! <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. You were right, he wasn't gonna survive that at all. Wow, the player models are messed up. Like, all the player models are like black for me. Except the respawners. Okay, I'm gonna turn off these helicopter noises. Okay, oh right, god, you, I closed my stream thing. You, you, you should look at um, Cool Beans right now. He's like strafing around on the ground. Aiming in a scope, even though he's not actually scoped in. <laughs> oh. This is cute. What's going on? We're, we're still. Uh... <laughs> Look at the model for uh, for Raffy Bear. He's just like twitching around. I think he's downloaded an aimbot or. Uh... He's still casting. <laughs> yeah, that was a long ass there pause. That was a massive pause, dude. Wow. Dude, he's like. Ah. Uh... That's, That's a, a shame. successful defense. Um, Blue are calling GG. Everyone's calling GG when it's not GG. I don't think they can defend it for 2 minutes and 49 seconds and then a further 9 minutes afterwards. I think that's how it works in Stopwatch. If the enemy team does defend that for one point, the time continues on. I think, yeah, the pyro disconnected for squared now. Um... Uh, yeah. Okay, they've already done Yeah, there we go. We see the pause and unpause. Who are we going to be watching? I am going to watch Larry. Larry Leary. Leary, the damn man for... Oh my god, because I'm seeing a sticky jumper and I'm seeing an old Paul Caber and I like this. Oh. That's not one to watch. Interesting enough, uh, Alex is rolling the stock rocket launcher rather than the direct hit. Probably not that like, concerned about red team. Mm. Oh, and I said it's not GG. What I meant is it's GR usually. Oh yeah. After that, not not that you shouldn't say GG or whatever. I just yeah. usually say GR after a round rather than uh, good round, <laughs> GH though, good for good team. hustle. Oh, Leary's gonna go for it. I think sets down the stickies. Gets a full buff from Lux. Goes in with the old bull cable. Oh, Alex going behind the demo man. And oh, now the Alex loose cannon, down. and Leary is down. I'm so disappointed. Grandmaster's really got this down, to be fair. His pipes are good. Raffy Bear. Raffy Bear with a headshot on Cool Beans, who was already pretty much dead. Oh, Lux almost gets oh. taken down by Raffy Bear. I could have been so much more positive for them than that. I don't know why. Lux oh, does this in our 6v60 as well. That was a body shot on Alex there. Yeah, but... She gets him down. Lux, very risky there. And this is something that I've picked up on in a 6v6 play as well. Um, she'll, like, she'll know there's a sniper. And in Highlander, there's always a sniper. But even in 6v6, we'll call there's a sniper. And she'll be like, oh, I'll just, I'll have a look, you know, make sure I know where he is. And really, like, if you want to avoid getting killed by a sniper, the moment you know the general area that he's in, you don't peek at all. Oh, the Opal Caber oh. kill comes out on Buzzkill. So leaving Silver. Ah. Oh. Was my HUD is broken. Killed. My HUD is now fixed. Oh, oh my that. god, no it's not. Lux just ubered the spy. <laughs> Classic Lux. And that's the that's round. Do they switch and play again, or is it just that one? Um, I think yeah, it's now they switch like teams. That. They switch teams. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So it's like, is it one round of... Uh, or rather, is it a game of granny and then they have to do three games, or rather the two games? No, no, two. It's it's one defense, offense, and then one offense, defense. If oh, yeah. it goes two and oh, but then if it goes one and one, I think whoever got the fastest time gets to choose whether they what? defend or attack first. I think that's right, yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. I'm going to say that's right, even if it's no. <laughs> that should be the rule, honestly. Well, if Gubbin says it, it's possible. It's canon! Oh my god, you don't know the universe of lore of TF2, dude. It'd be but... cool if there was a proper, like, TF2 universe. <laughs> I mean, obviously there's a whole rich backstory, but... Sick, eh?
like compared to other games. I really don't play other games, but it's like U4. Right, do we see anything? Raph, Raph, uh, Rapidan has actually gone sniper here. Really? Oh, uh, maybe it's just for the setup. Oh no, we have a massive switch up here. Rapidan on sniper. Anti on spy. Ninja Grandmaster still on demo. But Raffy Bear, the sniper that I was given so much props to, has now gone engineer. Did you oh, look at that? What legend? This would be cool. I like this so much. I mean, I, I wish like I could be in a highlight to see the They're all giving around. you all the classes a go, other than sticking to one class, because that is a very popular thing. How I do it all the time. Um, what the fuck was that? What the hell was that? What was that? I d did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that. I heard a, heard a bell tower. What the so fuck? yeah, it sounded like a yeah church bell. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's boot solid. Let's see how rapid and snipes then. Already with a pick on Loris. Body shin gets headshot by cool beans. You are now dead. Cool beans. Ooh, nice body shot in the air there on Buzzkill. Does not pick up the kill. Inu making his way up patiently to the combo. He's a distraction though. We haven't been watching Leary. Leary's running the sticky bomb launcher instead of the Opal Caber this time with the sticky. Dies to the sticky trap. But, uh. Yeah, obviously going for that proper push up the top, trying to take out the sentry with the uber, which Lux should be holding. My HUD is so... I'm having to refresh my HUD all the time. Lux goes down to stickies! Oh! Oh! I was going to say, I was anticipating oh, that an Antimatter was going to do an amazing chain stab on the car. <laughs> can I... Got can I... Ninja Grandmaster there with a ham kill on Dom the Heavy. God. Massive respect for that. Lux is just walking out into danger. Loris is taking on the world at the moment and getting the cart to the first point. Gets taken down by Buzzkill. Good stop there. Oh. Mm. This is quite a decent defense at the moment, but the only problem is that they didn't deal with the tunnel, so they let Loris push the cart all the way, like to oh. within about you know 15 We're seconds. Happy bear down. That's Rafi better engineer down, and the sentry goes down as well. Well played there by Inu. If I was, uh, if I was screwed right now, I'd be getting out of there. Mm. They did just get a couple of kills back. That's the scout yeah. down as well, so the pushing power isn't there. Reefborns are coming out on the side of Square, but this is a nice oh. push, and that's Medic down. Cool beans cool with beans. the kill. I want to watch Buzz kill. Uh, I say this, and I bet he's gonna. Yep, he's dead straight away. But he did get a six kill streak there, so well played. That's the first cap. And two within two minutes. That's very nice. Now we've got Rafi Bear running mini sentries now. But to be honest, he doesn't really have time to set up uh, full sentries at the moment, so it's not. Oh yeah. Not looking great. It was a shame though, but that's a very easy second. More than likely, I can see that. Oh my god, it's probably going to roll into third, because at this point mm. there is no sentry set up yeah. on third. Squared, uh... Where is Raffi right now? Squared scout is actually AFK. Raffi is setting up normal sentry now with the Southern Hospitality. But that's not the push in. And I'm having to refresh my heart again. I'm going to P-Rec this. Okay, sorry, I'm just fixing my. Uh, no problem. Cards, which oh, it's not even fixed. It's not even. I'm just fixed. watching Raffy Bear spots because that's exactly what I'm talking about. They're interesting. Don't know about effective though. Yeah. <laughs> and the scout of the square changes his name to AFK Pooping Less Than Three, and I assume goes AFK to poop. <laughs> Score shot on spaghetti still. Mid down, good Uber. Heavy go and make a hero play on the card, but he's down. Yeah, this, this is this looking game. Like this is well, this is round really. Yeah, this is the rounds. Yep, yeah, and there is the round. Oh, three minutes forty-one. It's oh my god, take it! Yeah, three minutes forty-one. That's uh, it's gonna be roll, really. very difficult. 
to be that is a that is a very very stranger things have happened weapon. i remember on that you know that silver game i was talking about with the mercs mm -hmm. we um we rolled the enemy team and i think it was four minutes and 46 seconds they rolled us back in three minutes and 50. so it was like damn so they could still pull it off don't know about three minutes though but they could still pull it off Standard you get the uh, scout and engine on cart all the time though kazamon has gone for the... What do you think about this as an engineer, main? kazamon has gone for the back-facing sentry, so he's not watching forwards as such, but he is watching the protection of the first point primarily there um, with that sentry. Honestly, I think that's actually a pretty good spot. Generally speaking, when you have a sentry, um, it's better to kind of impose and defend the point and just kind of be more of a symbol. It's not really expected to do much killing unless... Hmm. Side is the job of the combo in the flanks. The engineer sentry protects tunnel in the cart. That's usually how it should happen. However, mm. you need someone watching tunnel, otherwise, a demo man could just walk right through a tunnel and, and spam it. But I think that spot's decent. Oh, I good headshot good. from Cool Beans there onto oh. Buzzkill. Cool Beans is going huge today. Cool Beans is having a good game. He was one of my uh, guys I was looking out for. One person that has really impressed me, though, is Spaghetti the Pyro, not only with loadout, but also going top points first map and top points at the moment. Quite clearly doing work. That might be a bit of pushing, might be a bit of uh, putting out oh, headshots are coming out from cool beans at the moment. I mean, that was on a crouching heavy, but hey, kills a kill, and he misses the one on the medic as he gets shot. Oh, anti takes him down. The ex demo man, ex engineer, anti matter. <laughs> coming and then down he's pushing here. the car. That's an interesting prospect. Hey man, it's got to be pushed. I'm interested to see how they deal with the combo. Oh, itself. Inu. Medic and Heavy goes oh, down no. to the spy. And I'm refreshing, but oh my god. Every time I do hard reload scheme, it breaks even more. <laughs> oh my lord. When have you. When did you um, last update your HUD? No, that's not the problem. The problem was the pause. I'm going to retry to the, to the STV here. Fair enough. <laughs> and I bet it won't even connect. No, it's oh. connecting fine. Cool. I don't think. Oh, there you go. Let's have a look at in here. Unfortunately, the heavy. Oh, the sentry coming out big. Mm. Medic heavy. I'm really sit now. If the uh, square just crouched behind that, they wouldn't have been able to do anything about it. That sentry. It was right on the edge though, maybe they weren't expecting that, maybe they were expecting it to be protecting the top. Oh, but yeah. I think, oh actually no, I've got to say, Kazumon very smart here because um, with such a fast time from oh my God, it means that the focus won't be on the combo and it won't be on the engineer up top, it'll be on pushing the cart and getting it there so that they can try and beat this roll that oh my God got. So I think that defensive, uh, that sentry playing defensive for the cart rather than for... Uh, rather than for the combo or for the defense of the top area, which is usually very important. I think that's very smart. Definitely. It's, honestly, it's really... It's a good move. And this team's playing around him really well. He's quite comfortable getting backstabbed, you know. We've got a pyro and a soldier good, on the car yeah. now. This is a turtle right here. Oh, we'll get it. Cool Beans with a headshot into body shot onto Booker, the... Oh my god, it's really uh, been preparing for this and it shows. They got really good team composition. Well, so far they've played more PCWs um, before their officials than I did in my team Parrot Gapers back when we were in Prem. So <laughs> they are technically more keen than a Prem team. Well, cool beans. Someone get this guy a kill streak sniper rifle because his sh like all his kills are just going to waste at the moment. Not not making the big numbers. This guy needs to look more impressive on the scoreboard because he's Rather doing a lot of work. I think is AFK maybe getting dinner. Who knows at this time? Same with the scout actually. Oh, the scout. Um, is that waffle? Was that the scout that uh, impressed us so much? I think that is. Yeah, let's change his name to MK and he went away. Yeah. And there it is. That is the GG. Yeah. That is... Wait, that is the GG, isn't it? Yeah.